morning. How you doing? Night door here, Bob. Smoking my uh, Ricardo Santia Ultimate Cobb. Uh, uh, doesn't have a name. I sort of like to think of it as being a corn cob Canadian because the uh, bamboo shank is so long. <laughs> uh, and I guess, uh, you know, or you might consider it a, a Lovat. <laughs> Uh, you know, but as far as being a corn cob pipe, it doesn't have any, <laughs> it defies description. <laughs> um, and I'm smoking Lane 1Q, very tasty mix. As some of you know, I'm in the process of saving money for next year to go on a trip to uh, Ireland uh, and the UK. I'm going to stop in Ireland to visit Marty Weller. Hey Marty. <laughs> and uh, uh, stop in the UK to visit uh, a bunch of my pipe smoking friends. You know, The whole point of the trip is to visit pipe smoking friends from Ireland and the UK. Uh, I just found out today from talking to somebody that, um, well, as some of you know, I am a, a Christian, and uh, I do not expect everybody to believe the same way I do. I really don't. Uh, and I have no problems whatsoever being friends with atheists. Have uh, <laughs> you got somebody, I've got Muslims on my friends list? I've even got somebody on my friend. I've got Wiccans on my friends list. I've even got, uh, you know, and these aren't people that are actually just on the list and I never talk to. I do talk to them and I have a good time talking to them. You know, uh, even got somebody that, you know, claims to be an actual Satan worshiper. Uh, but to be honest, I'm not sure whether or not to take him seriously or not. <laughs> it's hard to tell when somebody says that. Um, but the point that I'm getting to is that, uh, I, like I said, I have no problems whatsoever being friends with anybody that doesn't believe the same way I do. That just simply isn't a problem with me. Uh, you know, and I, I, I don't mind if somebody wants to talk to me and says, how can you believe in, in Jesus? How can you believe this stuff? You know, uh, and gives me a chance to talk to them and say, this is why I believe. And, and they want to say, this is why I don't believe. You know, I, I love having those kind of talks. I really do. Uh, I recently found out today uh, that several people that I considered to be friends or that I was at least friendly with uh, are making fun of me behind my back for my Christian beliefs. Oops, let it go out. <laughs> um, you know, and heck, I, I even expect to be have somebody make fun of me from time to time. That's just, you know, that's part of being a Christian. You, you, you just have to expect it from time to time, you know, and that's okay. Uh, you know, I'd just rather it wouldn't be behind my back. And um, it also, well, to be honest, it makes me think really hard really hard about whether or not I want to spend $4,000 to come over to the UK to visit with people that are making fun of me behind my back. So, I don't know. There's still people I want to see. Um, it wasn't everybody, you know, that's making fun of me. <laughs> you know, and again, I don't mind I don't mind if you're making fun of me. I'd rather you do it to my face. I've got some of my, my very best friends that I hang out with every weekend when I go home to Minnesota where I live. 
are, these guys are atheists, and they are constantly making jokes at my expense, making jokes about Jesus, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it just gives me a chance to talk to them, um, you know, uh, it's the making jokes behind my back part, making fun of me behind my back part that I have problems with, especially considering that, you know, I'm going to be putting out $4,000 for a trip to go over and visit with these people. So, like I said, there's still people I want to visit with. You know, it just, you know, I'm not, not as enthusiastic about the trip as I was. Uh, so anyway, until next time, hey, you know, before my normal sign off, you want to talk to me, you know, I don't care if you don't believe in what I believe in, I don't care if you're an atheist, a Muslim, a Wiccan, or a Satan worshiper, if you want to talk to me and, and ridicule me and tell me right to my face, hey, you know, why, how can you believe in that nonsense? Please do, you know, give me a chance to talk to you. Uh, you know, but don't do it behind my back. You know? I, uh, if nothing else, I expect better of Brotherhood of the Briar. So, until next time, may all your roads be smooth. Chicken house is closed. May your pipe never run empty. God bless.